Hello there, YouTube. We are back with a little bit of a special video today. Um, a little bit of a future feature, if you want to put it that way. Um, I'm Hell joined yeah. by my brother from another mother, my partner in crime, TJ. It's me. That's that's who I am. <laughs> I'm the brother from another mother who's also bald. Oh my. The plot thickens. Yep. Um, well, not really. It thins. It thins. It's usually, <laughs> it's usually what leads to, to the hair loss. Is the, anyways, let's, let's, there's no uh, need to talk about it. <laughs> We've got a little bit of a preview for BT16. You know, what we decided to do here, and we've filmed a few matches for this, which will turn out at different time points as the, as the meta progresses, is that we have proxies printed out for BT16. Do bear with us because these first few matches, I think all of us are still trying to like learn some of the cards. So we're, there may be points yeah. where we're reading and like kind of maybe tracking back on some things. But the whole purpose of this is for number one, to just showcase what BT16 can do. Like decks like Imperial Dramon, Jarrell's cooked up a little bit of spice with his Jessmon build here. You know, we'll have like full fledged armors as well. We'll have mirage updates etc so we're going to be showing some of these like meta contending decks in bt16 with our initial builds with proxy so that you can see actual gameplay of it you know i think it'll be great for you guys who are trying to learn what bt16 has on the table and also for the folks who are looking to see like for regionals that are coming up in june whether it be offline or online i think this will be a very good sort of primer to see what these decks can do in actual gameplay, which I think is really neat. Yeah. Um, and also just we're practicing for regionals, you know, the grind keeps going and we figure why not just share it with you guys. So in this particular matchup, like I said, we've got Jarrell with his like Jessmon Spice on the left going up against TJ, who's playing Imperial, which dude, honestly, like I've, we've talked a lot about this offline, but you're absolutely, it's like fucking filthy. Like how good this deck can be. Let's, well, let's not. Let's not gas it up too much. Let's, 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 let's not gas it up too much. But yes, it you can have be very, been very doing strong. Very, very well. You yeah, know, you've been, this video you've been kicking my ass. This with it. just as a note, as a note, because Ben's gassing it up a lot right now. This was the first time I played the deck. <laughs> that is like, also true. <laughs> so let's just you know, let's we'll move on. <laughs> let's no more gas. Let's move on. <laughs> You'll see the evolution. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. Feel free to check out our socials, which will be linked in the video description down below. If you guys want to see any other matches from like the BT16 proxy stuff, let us know. We'll try to get some of that on as we continue practicing for regionals. And let's hop if, right into the round. Yeah. We'll, go, we'll hop right in. Yeah. But um, to be more specific, if there's any specific matches you want to see, we're going to have plenty of BT16 stuff that we're throwing up. Mm -hmm. I think regardless, I don't think we're that. I think that's just happening no matter what. But yeah. if. You guys have specific matchups that you want to see to see how certain decks interact. Let us know. Um, if we don't say anything about it, that means it's probably already on the way. Right. Because <laughs> we are testing a lot. Mm -hmm. um, and also, just as a little disclaimer as well, these matches are at our friend's house. These are not uh, like an official local or anything like that. Like, there's not a tournament, obviously, because it's all proxy stuff. So, like, like. Uh, ben was saying everything is sort of like we're still learning the deck, so we take back a couple of plays, plays and make some mistakes here and there. Yada yada. Jesus Christ, what the hell did Jarrell three master the disciples? Yeah, yeah, he uh he did pretty good. <laughs> um uh, but you go into a BT12 XV, which is not bad. Then you go into the Stingmon, which again, pretty solid. You decide to joggers into BT12 Paiyo, which will gain you a memory from the V and gain you a memory off of Davis and Ken, which when you digivolve, correct me if I'm wrong, into a Digimon free and trade, you can suspend the Tamer to gain a memory. You can mm -hmm. also choose to strip three sources from any Digimon, that's, so like three total that's sources. That's DNA. If you DNA. The the second part is DNA. So the yeah. first part is when you when one of your blue or green Digimon would digivolve, mm -hmm. suspend this Tamer to gain one memory. And then... Um, if you're DNA Digivolving, you can trash any three of your opponent's Digimon sources, and that means any Digimon. So you can trash three sources from anywhere on the board. Doesn't have to be the same. Um, Jarell, though, is he's just building, he's doing Jessmon things. He's building up a stack. He's got those Master Disciples ready to go. Um, Which, he's got as I was on board. guessing this deck up, you know, I do realize now that this is a little bit of a rougher matchup because there's not a whole lot to interact with for you, which is yeah. sort of what you thrive on. Yeah. Uh, um, definitely Imperial is a very strong deck. So like this, this were, oh, this are, these videos are a week old. 
pretty much at this point. We've, yeah. And we've yeah. play tested a bunch throughout the week. And yeah. I will say the amount I've learned has been insane. Mm -hmm. um, the biggest thing I've learned is that Imperial is a deck that while it has very good pacing for aggression, it loves board interaction. It loves to have a board to interact with so that it can punish and so that it can fully thrive off its effects. And when you're playing against OTK decks, that is a lot harder to do. Mm -hmm. um, so just something for people that are interested in Imperial next format, keep that in mind. Yeah. So you do go into fighter mode ace. Mm -hmm. uh, End ahead. of attack on suspend to yep. gain a memory. Um, and then at this point, I'm debating what to do. Um, I end up swinging again, just for one more check. Mm -hmm. Hit a sister. Um, and so at this point, I'm like, well, I'm going to hurt next turn. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. So I think it, I, just, I just opt to... Is crazy. It's rough. Yeah. So I have to just drop the tamer. Which you pick up a BT-12 sting? Yeah, it was yeah. a BT-12 BT sting. And so, so my suffering begins. <laughs> so Jesus, Girl goes into Savior for free. free. Yep. Um, goes into Jess X. Let's him play a sister. We gain two memory. He'll swing at the fighter mode. Effect to play out another sister. Sister effect will let him Evo up into a GX. GX. We'll let him tuck a Magna X under because Magna X is Royal Knight, so he'll gain the one Digivolving effect to unsuspend, be immune to opponent's effects, and plus three K. Yep. And gain some more memory because of Evo and everything. He's got the Gurry Swings. Mon as well. Pierces yep. through, so we'll he gain gains four. four memory off of the Overflow. Yep. Checks three, three checks, and then Swings second again. map of Restand and swing for game. Jesus. So that was game one. So this is why I was telling Ben to stop gassing it up. <laughs> because <laughs> this is it's pretty rough. It's pretty rough. Let you guys will get a good Let it be known. The reason I gassed this up is that as we've been testing this past week, there was a point where I had I literally, literally did not win a single game. Not not round. A single game for like eight straight. Yeah. Against that, was, that, that was I think it was six. <laughs> I don't think was it eight? It was eight. It was eight. Oh. And the streak continues. The only game I would ever take off of you is when I played Mirage. Yeah. Every other deck, I got my ass kicked. So that's why I was yeah. guessing this deck up. Because you've been absolutely cooking me with this deck. That's right. I, yeah, I definitely feel a lot more confident with the deck now. Yes. I was definitely... Yes, absolutely. I was very new new, new baby boys during this. I think I'm debating if I want a mulligan or not. You've grown into a man now. Yeah. Got hair dragon on my chest. Dragon rider. A dragon in my soul. <laughs> I, got that, I got that dragon in me. <laughs> you went from what is you um, went from uh you went into Kalisi mode. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> while we're guessing me up though, this yeah. list that Jarrell cooked is absolutely fucking insane too. He's been playtesting it against um Sunny and like other people, uh like on on cam and stuff like that. And like from what I've heard, it's just it works. It's like he he's like Jessmon's biggest issue has always been that it bricks that usually like it just misses its pieces or it doesn't have any protection. So clapback can be really rough. Mm -hmm. But Magna X giving it protection for that turn is so huge. Yeah. And then on top of that, the fact that uh, he's, he's also just been like the way he has the list constructed right now, it's become very, very consistent at, at seeing its line. Yeah. And um, I mean, I think too that like when we saw him today, right, he was just like, well, the biggest problem was like my stack never stayed on the board long enough for me to do damage. He's like, now my stack stays because like there's no way people deal with that big body without an option. And yeah, at that point, it's like, what do you do? Mm -hmm. So you go ahead uh, and do so your shenanigans. Yeah, I go into Pale Dry, gain one memory off of the XV, one off the sink, so I'm able to stay. Um, I suspend everything that has equal or less sources than me. Um, I have piercing and jamming. Uh, I can suspend an opponent's Digimon when attacking. End of turn DNA is what got me to the Evo point there. And I still have the draw one off the Demi V. Mm -hmm. um, I have to swing through the Huck. And then -check, jamming. check that. Yeah. And then I unsuspend because there's nothing for me to suspend. So the new Paledra is. First, the new Paledra is amazing. That card is such gas. It is like the perfect card for Imperial. Um, but it has the one attacking effect of. Uh, 
when attacking, suspend one of your opponents or Jamal with. I think it's I think it has to be fewer or less sources. Um or few, uh, equal or less sources rather. Uh if you don't suspend something, you unsuspend. Yep. That or it might just suspend something in general. Uh suspend one of your opponents unsuspended Digimon. If this effect didn't suspend, unsuspend this Digimon. Yeah. So never mind. No sources are even needed there. So I just go dragon mode. I probably in hindsight I'm thinking on it now, I probably should have just stayed on Paldra. Sure. Just for the extra aggression. Mm -hmm. Um, especially with him hard playing the Huck here, I actually probably could have set him to zero security. Yeah. Poss yeah that's possibly true. head game. Now that I'm thinking about it. Not to spoiler alert, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm remembering how the match goes. Oh, Jarrell, look at that. Army Actually, of little Huck bombs. I guess I wouldn't have been able to unsuspend because I'd have to suspend one of his boys. Okay, so you go. So this is. That's v, a. This is supposed to be a new Vmon. Yeah, it's uh, supposed to be a BT16 Vmon. I have the effect pulled up on my phone just off a of cam to remember it, um, but I didn't have the proxies for it, so I just used the old BT2 one. Um, at this point, I think I'm just setting up a stack so that I can have a response in case something happens. I swing sure. with the dragon mode. Unfortunately, I hit a Master Disciple. Oy. <laughs> he grabs a Jess. Um, I suspend one of them because of the Wormmon Inheritable. I think I was looking at Giga Death in hand. <laughs> I was debating on just bottom decking both of the Hux. Yeah, this is a little bit of a rough spot for you because it's just like you don't really have a good way to like not pass turn without giving a decent amount of memory. Yeah. I just you play just have worm. to go worm to search. Uh, pick up the new Davis and Ken bottom deck mm -hmm. the pseudo BT16 Vmon. Yep. Which at this point decides to push up, which is scary. He's asking if I had any protections or what my DP was <laughs> on the uh, dragon mode. Uh, whenever he asks that question, I just cry. Yeah. Which I mean, it doesn't. There's. I'm never gonna be bigger. So. Yeah. But anyway, so he goes. Jess pops it. I'm able to partition. So I spit out both of the sources. Speaking of which, partition is absolutely gas for DNA decks yeah. in this set. You know, it's like, I think we talked about it today, right? Where it's like, this is what DNA needed to be more yes. relevant moving forward. Mm -hmm. Being able to keep the sources and have your opponent deal with them again to get rid of them as opposed to just getting rid of the stack. Yeah. Like it's for if people, if people haven't played at all with bt16 stuff or really looked into partition stuff in, in like in practice partition is so amazing yeah it's so good i agree um he does clear my board there which is Jesus a bit rough for me Jesus christ and now he has a big blocker but he will swing for three checks does mega death so i just bounce it okay and then i suspend one of his huffmon i believe yeah because the adjustment yeah. was still suspended Okay, well, you could maybe do something here. Go Vmon a search. Actually, he yep. went into the BT6 sa Savior Hook. He should have been unsuspended at, uh, during his swing before the check went all the way through, so I should have had mm. to suspend, suspend the bottom. Deck. I don't think it actually matters. But yeah, swing jamming V, play out that Vmon for free off the Davis Ken. Evil into Sting for two. Yeah. Uh, DNA. Go into Paeldra. Suspend the whole board. Jesus. So I would have suspended something there, anyways. Um. Spend again in memory. Yeah, no sources of trash, but still good for the memory gain. I'll swing and I'll uns spend and then swing for game. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Solid. So, and that just kind of goes to show, like, Jarrell was breaking a little bit. I had enough aggression to get out there, and then Mega Death saved my ass in security. <laughs> uh, Mega Death still to this day one of the best options that Bandai has ever made. Yeah. Especially nowadays with um, the more like increasing prevalence of ace cards you know being yeah. able to get rid of something whether it's the ace itself or a stack that has an ace play that for five but gain back three potentially four memory is just absolutely crazy value yeah um and also like just suspend like if that body is already suspended you can just suspend another body as well you know and it does help with some board control plays Yes, it does. It's very, it's just such a good option. And the fact that it's a five cost right now is insane. And it's, it's even better going into a meta where there's so many ace cards running around. Yeah. Cause it, I, it just, 
I don't it often believe... is a two or one cost option. Yeah. I don't believe there's a level restriction either, which is something that we see no. very commonly with these removal options is that, oh, like level six or lower or level, yeah. you know, level six or higher. Here it's just like any Digimon, just bye bye. Yeah. They just gave Mega Death all the gas. Mega gas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, pretty decent first turns for both of us. We both just go to our level fours. I drop a tamer. Yeah. Uh, Jarrell's of the mind that it is just time to go already, which is terrifying. Um, so he gains yeah. two memory off of playing the sister. We'll go into a Jess X. Uh, we'll, no sister to play here, but just goes Jess GX. We'll take a Magna X under. Lord. Well, we'll swing three checks. Giga Death will suspend that. I can't bottom deck the other thing because it's immune to effects because of the Magna X. Which before um, would have been bad news bears for Jarrell's, but but now with Magna X, it's just like Jesus. <laughs> yeah. So he's got blocker. He's immune to opponent, my opponent, opponent's effects. So I'm trying to decide what I want to do. I play the Vimon for free. I'm just like, well, maybe I can at least set up a board to punish him. Sure. <laughs> um, I don't even know what I grabbed there. I think I'll grab the worm, which reveal top three. Uh, which pick up a to... two color green yeah, card. Yeah, which or I tamer, think which I think I was yeah. So I. I thought you could pick up the XP here. I didn't read the yeah. card. This is a case of not reading the card. Good. Uh, <laughs> XV for two. But this is I was, this is my first time using the warm yeah. promo, so it was just a blunder on my part. You technically can only grab a two color card. You cannot grab the XV there. You're good. Um, you do go into the XV. Um, yeah, that Magna X is just nasty right now. Yeah. I mean, I can't. An I, I have what I need in hand to answer it, but I don't have. Like, I can't do it. So I just play Davis, do some search. Mm -hmm. uh, both of those cards are going to get bounced back to my hand at the end of turn. I was hoping I would draw a Stingmon off of the Evo into the XV, but I did not. Um, at this point, he, he just plays the sister, gains a bunch of memory back. Yeah. Finds another Magna X. Oh, no. <laughs> not that he needs it, Yeah. but he has it. Huh? What is he? I think at this point we're debating what what's going on. I asked him what he grabbed. I think. Sure. Uh, so oh. he'll second Mepa. Oh my God. To go ahead and activate the Windigivolt effect to place another card under, and then yeah, just unsuspends off Saber Hook and swings for game. Jesus. So that just goes to show that like when Jess sees his pieces, it does Jess mod things and yeah. just it wins. Yeah. But you can also see like during game two where even if he's a little bit too slow, I can just go burr. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, I mean, I think, and then the the key thing that really changed it, I think, too, was like the fact that GX stayed, right? In a world without yeah. Magna X, you hit that Giga Death and Security, or you hit a Magna or Mega Death and Security, GX is gone. gone. Jarell is forced to rebuild, and there's a very good chance that maybe he doesn't see that line anymore, and it's a very, very yeah. different outcome. The fact exactly. that GX was like, nah, fuck you, and stayed, and just like pushed that aggression. And you couldn't really deal with it because Magna mm -hmm. X literally says you can't deal with me. What do you do? Yep. Yep. That's pretty much like there's there's no response to it really. That's and that's kind of the issue with Magna X, right? Is a card mm -hmm. that there's no response to it. The the plus side to it is that it lacks solid aggression on its own without like accompanying support and like uh, Zubagon punch and stuff. Right. Um, but being able to put that under a deck that has plenty of aggression, like Jess where you're only just concerned about bricking, it's very scary. It is very, very scary. Um, but I think it's a good display of like showing like what Imperial can do, how fast Imperial can be, and how oppressive it can be with board control. Mm -hmm. And then also showing that like how you can tech some of these newer cards into older decks to give them new life and just go absolutely insano style. Yeah, yeah, because it's been definitely a hot minute since we've seen Imperial do anything relevant you know bt12 mm -hmm. was supposedly the resurgence of imperial as a deck but in reality it just really didn't do a whole lot compared to the rest of the meta so yeah. it's nice to see imperial kind of come back and do its thing again which i know like you you were a huge imperial fan back in bt8 so I mean, yeah i'm happy that this is a nice resurgence for you i'm able to go back to my boy yeah yeah <sighs> Um, but yeah, you know, like I said, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. We will definitely be getting more of this out there as we start testing more. We're going to get more and more matches and hopefully 
as we get more familiar with the cards and familiar with the deck, we kind of start to see things get a little bit more fine-tuned. These matches for sure are definitely preliminary, but I still think pretty high quality matches in terms of just general idea of what these decks want to do. So like I said, hopefully you guys enjoy it. Let us know if there are any particular decks or matchups that you would like to see. We'll try to get as much as we can. Obviously, we're not gonna be able to get a lot of them or all of them per se, but we're gonna do our best to, to do that because we are testing a wide range of decks for, for regionals and whatnot. So when we have the chance to record, we definitely will. So thank you all for tuning in. Hopefully you can like and subscribe this video. We would greatly appreciate it and hopefully we'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye. Okay. <laughs>